Welcome to Three Men in a Blog's review of First Minister's Questions. This week it's the 22nd of November. And uh, let's say it was, um, Brian, in Brian Taylor's words, a rumbustious First Minister's Questions. Um, can we start with uh, Nori Stewart, Phil Attridge? Nori, um, what did you think of the overall picture this week instead of... Uh, before we go into performances, what did you think of having to use as a whole? Uh, I thought it was basically a waste of time, really. It, it wasn't very informative. It was messy. Very adversarial. Um, nothing... It's no advert for Hollywood this week, at all. And Willie Rennie, who I have been saying recently, had looked much more stapes when he let himself down this week walked into a trap that anybody mm. would have seen coming. What about you, Phil, the overall picture rather than, look, before we get into... Overall picture, yeah, I'll go along with the adversarial no, and really learning nothing out of it, apart from the salmon's basically, well, you could say it's on a back foot for a while, but the whole point is, it's the whole way it's set up, it's like a B-movie sort of Westminster. Um, yeah, it does get a bit boring after a while, but all you get from any of the opposition is that I but, I but, no grace or anything else. There's no, res there's no respect in that. Right. I, I have to say I introduced it to this week's show with um, Brian Taylor's quote, and I have to agree with everybody. I mean, it's, uh, it's very bad tempered. A lot, the presenting officer spent a lot of time mm. calling to order backbenchers. <coughs> And I'm not going to pick a particular party because I can't see who she's speaking to. But I certainly got the impression most of the noise was coming from the well, Labour side. She named both Joanne and the, who's the education? Mike Russell. There was Hugh Henry. No, no, Hugh Henry. Uh, Hugh Henry, yeah. She named them both for um, being. Well, let's go move on to our uh, regular routine. Nori, um, the individual performances. Well, I thought, I thought Joanne was probably the best I've seen her. She certainly settled into the role. I mean, she's obviously a lot more comfortable attacking. She felt she was on safe ground. Salmon didn't answer her questions, which suggests she was asking the right questions. I still feel that she takes too long about it. She should be more incisive. Now, I know it's her platform to make, you know, her statement. Mm -hmm. But she's not making a statement. It's an attack. It, it, it's childish. It's playground stuff to me. But... That said, I felt that she performed well this week. Mm -hmm. Salmond, I wasn't impressed with. He stumbled through some things. He did his list thing. He, he went off topic. It was almost as if he was expecting, he was answering questions he was expecting, not what was asked. And I particularly noticed it with Murdo Fraser, who wasn't terribly aggressive about it all. Oh, well, you've got to bear in mind, with the, the time he gets away from the leaders, the questions are tabled quite a few days beforehand. He knows exactly what what questions he's going to get asked. Well, maybe I misunderstood one of Fraser's question, but I didn't see the need for Simon to get the boot in. It didn't seem to be about that. The question was about, as far as I could see, how how are you going to promote the Bannockburn ce right. celebration? Well, let's come back to the leaders' performances again. Ruth Davidson. I wasn't impressed with her today. She's turned nasty. It's almost as if she's watching Joanne Lamont and that impresses her. Whereas what she should do is go back and watch Annabelle Goldie, mm. who was much more effective, mm. much more effective. Yeah. Maybe it's a matter of capability, I don't know. But I'm, I'm, I'm losing what little respect I had for her delivery, etc. Really? Well, he disappointed me this week. And he should have stayed away from colleges. The Liberal Democrats will always get smacked in the puss with a pledge. They broke. As soon as you talk about students. I mean, and he has it. And they signed a pledge. They didn't just stick it in their manifesto. Well, the, the other thing for me is, he's been the one that was sensible and grown up, and, and all of a sudden he turns into a wee bairn again. Well, I'll start off with Joanne. Um, I'd say a delivery was better today. But it is the eye, but there's no grace. And some of the responses you were getting, I thought from Salmon really hit home. I mean, like, who is she 
to keep going around. He has apologised, he's come back. Something Labour has never done after causing the death, as Sam pointed out, up to a million people, um, putting in their manifesto, all these such things that, uh, whether she meant it or not, that's the perspective people have got, this perception that, yeah, they're going to wipe out all these things that they asked you to vote for. So that's, dis that's dishonest. Um, Actually, yeah, she should apologise. I would quite accept a blanket apology for all the nasty things, uh, Labour and all that done. And the whole point with the Iraq war, they didn't need to, to take that vote. Uh, Ruth Davison, well, Norrie says she's getting nasty. Well, she's a Tory. Uh, she's a lying, hypocritical Tory, and the rest is bleeped out because uh, I know it's not Ofcom, but I wouldn't like to call her a tosser on this, uh, but that's exactly what she's lying. Willie. And uh, what got me with Willie, I wouldn't expect anything else from a liberal, a long he comes, he's joined in. But what annoyed me was when he hit them straight back, right between the eyes about that, about them lying, and that's when he'd get rid of Russell's. They were laughing. They were laughing at what they did to all those students, so they got, they were laughing. That's the contempt that your liberal We're gets. talking about the, the other liberal... Oh, yeah, Tavish oh. Scott's and yeah, yeah, the Tavish Tavish Scott said, oh, and the, the guy to his, oh, to his right, laughing, but we're laughing at it. I, they don't care. Give me a car, give me a job, who cares? I'm in power. That's why there's hardly any of them. Um, Alex? Alex, um, well, again, he was under attack. I mean, it's, it's this relentless negative attack. There's no grace in the opposition. Uh, I would say on balance, that he did, he really rallied sort of the last half lots. That's when he really got and got it. But you could see he was probably just weary. He probably thought, I wish I'd stayed at home for the first bit, especially when Joanna was around. He has to find a way to deal with it. Yeah, well, I, have, it. I have to say that I'll start with Alex. I thought Alex started slowly. He didn't clearly go into the I'm a statesman dip diplomatic bit, which he often does, and he didn't get angry. I thought he played a, a blinder, right, to be honest, given the, the problems that he's had the last few weeks, what's been going on, uh, but it, and quite, quite, he, he did what I would have said, probably said three or four weeks ago, they should be doing, point out the mistakes, the lies, the deception, and the no apologies from the opposition, which is basically, obviously, was his approach today. Joanne, certainly I have to agree with, with you, she, she looks more confident, she's happy in her role, she's quite happy to come on and um, attack. It's, you just want her to be more light on her feet and to, and to react more to whatever Alex is going to come back with. Um, Willie, oh. what a disappointment after getting bonus points from us for weeks. Very poor, um, and I, I, quite right. Um, sometimes I think Tavish Scott was the leader before. Mm -hmm. And when Tavish Scott sits right behind Willie, and he was nearly right behind, back right behind him, he feels as though pulling he's the strings. puppet master pulling strings. And there was a bit of that today. And when he's not been there, Willie's been sensible. I sometimes think it's just, you know, when he makes a mis when Willie makes a mistake by coming across from the wrong, with the wrong ideas, then I think it's because Tavish has been giving him, giving him a beating. Ruth. Waste of space, absolute waste of space. What did she ask? She got detailed figures. The watching audience hasn't got access to these. When, as soon as people start going into the detail of statistics, we all go because we don't understand the basis. It was it one 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 figure was a figure, a, a bald figure. Then she compared it with a, a revenue figure. She didn't qualify the first figure, so why bother listening to what she's got to say? Because you can't believe what she's about to say. Um, have I covered, I've covered them all. Yeah, yeah. I, I gee, this stamina dark one, but I just get the feeling that both Willie Rennie and Ruth Davidson are looking at Joanne Lamont and she's impressing as party leader this aggressive stance she takes on everything. And it, it's almost like it's a, some sort of fungus that's spreading through. And I, I, Simon, to me today, not impressed. I, I felt he didn't rise above it. But that, well, no, that, that's yeah. very true. He didn't rise above it. And, that, and I, I'm that, just that's wondering that. if Joanne's biggest influence on the Scottish Parliament is going to be, it's going to turn into a heckling riotous mob. Well, well, she she does, that's down, but sorry, but that's down to the presiding officer. Yeah. She has well, to take who, control and get them to really just 
Suspended well, she, more than one. She suspended one today. She spoke to two in the chamber. I mean, yeah. it's, it's such a huge disappointment to me mm. that a Scottish Parliament feels it has to ape Westminster. I don't think it's quite it's, Westminster. It's not there yet, but it's going no, in that true. direction. Oh, it, it, it's definitely B, Westminster. I mean, if you've got Willie Rennie and and uh, the Tory um, copying Joanne, who, who on a good day is a B team leader, um, then you're in serious problems. And the simple fact is she stands there, I'll start to give her a B plus, maybe heading towards being an A team, when she can stand there and when she, when she asks a question, now, does she know exactly what Salmon's going to say? She probably has a good idea. But irrespective of what he says, it's... She's straight on. She's stuck that's true. right there and she just reads out this she thing which she's done she's the never, She's never going to reach that level of competence, obviously. She's probably... They're appalling. Some, somebody's writing her stuff for it. I mean, her opening oh. line today should have been, oh, I'd like to thank Alex Salmon for turning up and apologising. Yeah. That would have made her look genuine and all the rest of it yeah. and it would have put him on the back foot because you can't get up and say oh we'll stick your apology up your backside you yeah. know she makes her point it's statesmanly done yeah. it's all about twisting it right well let's move on to the the summary and the scores and i'll try and write them down this week soon as you did it last week <laughs> um, yeah, now but, over the let, let's start with you phil score <coughs> well i'll start off with start at the bottom eh? i'll start off with ruth been a blatant liar about the courses. Zero. Right, Ruth gets zero. Willie, I'll give him one for turning up. Mm -hmm. um, Joanne, yeah, I thought she was a very good delivery, but I'm sorry, I, um, taking away the loyalty bit. Um, I mean, if I'm being honest, <laughs> it wasn't going on in there. I'm sorry, she can't. She can't read straight out of her own mind. She's a teacher. I'll give her a six. Mm -hmm. um, Salmond. Bad start and that, I'll give him a set. I'll give him an eight. Mm -hmm. All right, where are we going? Ruth, Ruth Davidson, I'm, I want to give her a minus two mm -hmm. because she's going backwards. She's not, she's not learned from the good days. Um, Willie Rennie, I think you might be right. I think he's intimidated by Tammy Scotland and he feels he has to get aggressive about it. It's not working for him. It's not his nature anyway. We'll give him a two. Joanne, I'm going to score high. I, that's probably the best performance I've seen out of her. I'm going to give her a seven. Um, which, surprising myself here, I've, I felt that she beat Alex Allen today. I'm going to give Alex a six. Although he did come back, he has to find a way to deal with that. You hold it to six. Just a six for Sam. Right. Ruth. I have to agree. I think she's a completely waste of space. She always walks straight into the trap. She always attacks the Scottish Government for issues that are either out of their control or at least the Scottish Government is doing better than the Westminster Government. So I'll give Ruth, I'll, I'll just stick to zero. Willie, well as I said earlier, and I think to some extent he's, he, he's dropped back down. I'll give him, give him two. Joanne. Hmm. A liberal. <laughs> Joanne, I, I did think her performance was better. I'm not to agree with you there. I think um, she didn't get flustered, although I was surprised that um, when she got censured by the presenting officer, she carried, just carried on and ignored it. And this is a bad sign if that's what the Labour Party are, are like when we're not watching the chamber, which we're not most of, most of the time. If they blunder on and ignore a, a censure from the... Uh, the presiding officer, no wonder it's getting in a mess. Um, I would give her an eight, but because she blundered on, I'll give her um, a six. Alec, I don't, I don't agree with you. I think Alex came from, as I say, he didn't have his diplomatic self. He didn't rise above the chamber and be, he didn't start like that. But on the other hand, neither did he get angry. And as, the, as it went on, he was actually on the attack from, he went straight onto the front foot. And he has attacked each leader on their weaknesses, on Very their impressive. mistakes, on their lies, on their lack of them, um, and on their lack of the way the, the, the electric don't support them, their poll ratings are dreadful. He didn't actually mention them, he did everything but mention that. I'm actually thinking he did very well, I'm giving him an eight. Do you so. know, I mean, I've come away thinking that Joanne beat him. No, it's because the ho he, he stood there and 
It all just came straight out of his mouth, and he was looking straight at whatever. She stepped. I he mean, it, honestly, it just he does my head in. She fumbled. She's, his vocabulary crashed a couple of times. And he never had to look at notes apart from when he was being uh, exam. She's an English sorry, teacher, guys. and she's like that. Right, right, right. Okay. Well, the scores are. Ruth minus two, Willie five, Joanne nineteen, which is probably her highest ever, and Alex still comes out on a twenty-two. Uh, meanwhile, the, just score, the scores each of us gave. Phil gave a total of fifteen, Nori a total of thirteen, and I gave a total of sixteen. So there's nothing much in it. So thank you very much, gentlemen, for yet another review. Thank you.